Burlington city leaders offered more details on the Queen City's green stimulus package today, hours after the mayor called the state of the city a state of emergency. Police are also updating people on their right to enforce the governor's stay home, stay safe order. Local 44's Devin Bates has more. The goal of Burlington's green stimulus package is to support economic recovery and the city's net zero energy transition. Mayor Murrow Weinberger explained how that might happen and detailed other efforts currently happening around the Queen City. Burlington leaders believe the city's response to COVID-19 should also complement its core values. On Tuesday, Mayor Murrow Weinberger said the proposed green stimulus package would achieve that. What we're going to do is find a way to repurpose, accelerate, redirect, expand a variety of incentive programs that are part of our net zero energy city strategy. Wherever possible, we're going to pursue strategies that um, advance our progress in both of these crises. To do that, a few hundred thousand dollars of existing funds would go toward incentives for weatherization and efficiency upgrades. The mayor has also been focused on a $20 million plan passed by city council on Monday night. It gives property taxpayers two extra months to make their June payments without adding on penalties or interest. Doing this up to $20 million of borrowing gives people time to figure out how to respond to this uh, financial storm. If a property owner um, does receive this benefit, um, they need essentially to pass that benefit on to any residential or commercial tenants. While all of those efforts take shape, the Burlington Police Department noted that while there's a small part of the community willfully ignoring Governor Scott's stay-at-home order, they haven't had to issue any tickets. Deputy Chief John Mirad says it remains an education-first approach. Stay home, stay safe is not a lockdown order. It allows for people to leave the home for groceries, it allows the people to leave the home for exercise, medicine, to care for others. But what it doesn't allow people to do is go out and simply to sit in public places in close proximity to others who are not in their households, sometimes to conduct other unlawful activities such as drinking in public or using substances. A note for Burlington small business owners as well, the city is holding a webinar on Wednesday with experts for small business owners interested in learning more about the CARES Act and how to access federal relief funding. That happens at noon and more information is on the city's website. In Burlington, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.